Hello and welcome to another video about Cardano. In this video, I will give you a short summary about the most important points and developments that were raised and mentioned in the Cardano 360 update. If you don't know what that is, every month Cardano, the Cardano team, they give an update about how it's been going the last month and they give an outlook into the future. So this is the monthly official Cardano update and all important news are shared there. So. Uh, not everybody wants to listen into the one and a half or two hours of video. So what I will do in this video, I'll give you a short summary. Last time I did that, that was really much appreciated and we go right into it. Before we go into it, quick look at the price, 254. But um, I will do another update video later on the price if you want. Then uh, if, I, if you want me to do that, please comment because um, this obviously is my evening video sort of here in the UK, UK time. So let me know if you want another update video later about technical analysis and the price. So what did they talk about in the Alonso um, 360 update? So first thing they basically saw said that everything is going to plan. I think that was for me the most important thing to hear. I just want to hear is everything going to plan and they announced yes it's all going well. They introduced some new team members. They said they basically work around the clock. Also they push it very hard on the weekends to make sure everything will be done for the 1st and the 12th of September. If you don't know what's happening on the 1st of September that uh, date hasn't been talked about a lot. Uh, mostly we hear about the 12th of September. Well on the 1st of September, they will hard fork the test net. So really test everything in the test net before we go onto the main net on the 12th of September. So this is really like the last step basically here on this updated rollout plan it's called staging, where really the last bugs will be sorted out and really the final testing takes place. So the 1st of September is a crucial date as well. Well, looking back at the month, they said they finalized the wallet integration, the data loss wallet integration to just make sure that the data loss wallet survives the mainnet hard fork. And they said they worked through various issues and they mentioned that various tests uh, were run and they were all passed. So every test basically was passing apparently. There are still a few final tweaks they have to make, but basically everything is on track and they sounded extremely, extremely confident. Well, what they also said, there can always be issues, you know, that are not known yet. So this is the only thing that could hold the mainnet rollout back. But at the moment with everything they know, they are very optimistic that this date will be the final yeah, mainnet rollout date, the 12th of September. We've been talking about this on this channel for a while now. What they also said, they talked about obviously advantages of Cardano compared, for example, to Ethereum, um, that the prices are very deterministic. You know exactly what transaction fees will be like, whereas here on um, ADA, you know, if I go here uh, on Ethereum, if I go back to CoinMarketCap, you can see the, the ETH gas fees. I mean, they are just... They're just, you know, it's just going up and down all the time. So this gives confidence, obviously, to many people or many developers and basically developers of these applications um, and users that people can plan these fees. You know, you know what it will cost. So that is interesting because the gas fees on the Ethereum network can change all the time. So they still have to work a little bit on pricing, how pricing will work out on the Cardano ecosystem. But um, yeah, this is sort of a, a secret currently they mentioned, um, but that will be published as well. But it is um, obviously much more deterministic than for example on Ethereum. Um, so they also mentioned this is obviously only the start of the journey for smart contracts. We all need to bear that in mind. Because, um, you know, we are still very much in the beginning. I mean, it sounds like, you know, the big, the big final push will be coming now. But we need to remember this is still very much the beginning of, of crypto in general, but in general, but also of Cardano. It's just the beginning also of smart contracts. This will all come out and will be developed going forward. So very, very interesting. What also will come out in September is that um, basically the Pluto's, Pluto's, uh, Pluto's application backend that will come out in September and that will give programmers the possibility to uh, make sure that their applications are fully integrated. They also talked about the Project Catalyst, which you probably know if you've been following me on this channel. We talked about the Project Catalyst, which now has funded, um, yeah, basically has, has yeah, funded different projects. I think around 160 projects in the Cardano ecosystem with around 4 million US dollars. It's the largest decentralized investment fund in the world. 
and it all can be used this money to build on Cardano. So this fund is growing and what they mentioned is that the now the uh, sixth funding round which is I think now launched has in itself four million dollars of funding. So basically in all the other funding rounds before they had four million together and now the sixth funding round in itself has four million. So it just shows how Cardano is growing, how the ecosystem is growing and also how the funding is growing because that money that needs to come from somewhere and people are believing in Cardano, which is why that investment is taking place. They also talked about that the summit is coming up and you have heard about the um, summit, which is coming up in September. So if you haven't registered yet and you want to participate, you can do so virtually as well if you want to. And this will be in September. And yeah, you can register and then attend. It will be two days on a weekend. So that will be interesting. They also mentioned about the uh, Pluto's pioneers. The second cohort is just finishing up and the third cohort of developers and programmers will be um, coming in soon. Something very interesting I found was that they mentioned they are introducing a bug bounty program. If you don't know what a bug bounty program is, this is basically they work together with Hacker One, that is apparently an organization that is the largest like hacker organization, but they what they do, they find they basically find bugs in codes in blockchains in you know generally in any database for example or any programming code and um, yeah basically Cardano the team they work together with Hacker One they you know they have access to all the hackers and hackers are basically incentivized to report weaknesses in the Cardano code base um, they if they do that obviously that makes Cardano even more safe and even though Cardano you know, the code has always been mentioned is very safe. There are always weaknesses in any code. Um, and that is very interesting because they really work together with, with these guys. And I think that is a great possibility because these people, these hackers, you know, and these people who have a lot of knowledge about hacking and generally, um, they don't own, they don't necessarily come from a blockchain background. So they have a completely new, you know, you basically bring a new pair of eyes in um, with a different perspective. So that could potentially um, help Cardano and the team to sort out bugs and issues and errors and weaknesses to make the ecosystem even safer. So that is fantastic. Then they talked about key partnerships and I want to finish this video off with that. They basically finished off with talking about three partnerships. Um, one was the ERC, ERC, ERC20 token to Cardano um, bridge which will allow people to migrate their ERC20 tokens onto um, yeah, the Cardano network, which is great because um, people then can make sure that they make use of a faster and cheaper network like Cardano. But bear in mind that bridge works also the other way around, but I wouldn't know why you wanted to do it the other way around because as said, Cardano is cheaper and faster. Then they also talked about Singularity DAO, which I found very interesting. What they do, they basically use the AI, artificial intelligence of the Singularity Net blockchain. And what they do, they are launching a sort of ETF style um, basket of tokens that is automatically rebalanced. And, you know, I don't know how in detail that work. I haven't really looked into detail in that project, but it sounded very interesting because I personally like to invest in ETFs. If you don't know what that is, that's again, like basically a basket of stocks and shares where you can just invest in and that will get automatically automatically rebalanced and allows you to really invest passively in a lot of stocks and shares. And the same thing is now coming for crypto, which I found very innovative, very interesting and all driven by artificial intelligence. So a very interesting project, which will be running on the Cardano ecosystem. Fantastic. I found that really, really interesting. Haven't heard about that before, but that's a big one. And lastly, they talked about Occam. Um, Occam is basically, I talked about that on this channel as well. It's an ecosystem, again, built basically on the Cardano ecosystem. So they have a uh, decentralized exchange, also a launchpad. So the decentralized exchange will provide the liquidity for the launchpad and the new projects. And they also have the OCC token. And also they mentioned, you know, that basically um, they have chosen Cardano because it is just cheaper and faster and they just reinforced that these are really the strength of Cardano. So that was just really a brief update about what was said in the Cardano 360 update. Listened into it, um, took way over an hour and I understand that everybody wants to do that. So these were really the most important takeaways for me personally. The very most important one for me is obviously 
that everything worked, uh, that it works, that all the tests were passed, that they are very confident that it will happen and take place on the 12th of September. But firstly, the first date we need to look at now is the 1st of September. And um, this is basically the testnet hard fork. And after that, we need to pay close attention to the 12th of September. So everything is looking really good for Cardano. I know the price dropped today again, but again, good buying opportunity, at least for myself. Um, I can't give financial advice here, you know that, but I think um, for me, this is now a good price to buy. It might drop further, but I don't care because I buy for the long term anyway. I'm not gonna sell in the next few years. I'd rather stake all my ADA and um, all looking good. If you want me to do another technical analysis video on ADA today, then let me know in the comments, please. If you like the video, please smash the like button as always. And if you wanna subscribe and become part of the More Crypto Online community, then please subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.